We look upward from the Liberty Square and see an old majestic academic building on the hill of William Jewell College. Early planners, however, envisioned a campus in Boone County for the education of Baptist men and ministers. In 1843, Dr. William Jewell, a physician in Columbia, had given $10,000 worth of real estate to start an endowment for a college. After three years of discussion, a meeting was held at Booneville on August 21, 1849, to select a location for the college. Central Missouri seemed to be more logical than a town near the western border of the United States. Judge J.T.V. Thompson and Alexander Donovan, a hero of the recent war with Mexico, made compelling speeches promoting liberty as a site for the college. They promised to name it after Dr. William Jewell and presented a subscription of $7,000 from Liberty Citizens. That carried the day. A specific site for the college was secured when Judge Thompson donated the land on a hill just east of downtown. In November 1849, the college rented the Liberty Academy and started to hold classes. The next year, the school moved to the basement of Second Baptist Church. Liberty resident D.C. Allen was one of the first graduates and a stalwart supporter of his alma mater throughout his life. Discussion reemerged from time to time about changing the permanent location of the college. O.P. Moss felt that the selection of Liberty was divinely inspired, and he lobbied to keep the campus from moving. For the first three or four years, the college was in debt at the end of each scholastic year, and O.P. Moss would pay it off the annual debt. Dr. Jewell was appointed by the trustees to supervise the erection of a three-story building on the Liberty campus. Unfortunately, he died in August 1852 before it was completed. By 1853, sufficient construction had been done for students to occupy the building, but it was not finally completed until 1858 at a cost of $44,000. In 1857, O.P. Moss was happy to report to the trustees that the college was out of debt. That ended the relocation debate. The campus faced another challenge, however, when the Civil War loomed. By midsummer 1861, the unsettled situation in Liberty led to the suspension of operations. During the Civil War, Jewel Hall was used as a lookout point, an infirmary, and a stable for the mounts of federal troops. When peace was restored, William Jewell College continued to flourish. Women were first admitted as students in 1920.